The crown jewel of movement disorders at Emory is the surgical program. The initiation and growth of that treatment in the United States started here. And the technology is remarkable and the patients do really well. Malin transformed the care of Parkinson's disease with this surgical intervention. I think he will always be remembered for his contributions. Dr. DeLong, he was a really wonderful mentor, but also just a great uh, human being. And when he came to Emory, he worked very hard to integrate all of neuroscience into one group, allowing people to treat Parkinson's disease with deep brain stimulation would not have happened without primate research. And that's where then the, the link between the clinic and the lab comes in. DBS is also is still a work in progress. Today is a lovely day. Tomorrow will be better. We have the largest lab of its kind in the world, and the largest database is, I would say, one of a handful of its specific type in the country. Often, I'll have patients in clinic. You know, you have to break the news. And a question that inevitably I'm always asked is, can you cure it? And while I can't say yes today, I do think it's very feasible. I think the lab offers the opportunity for the future. That's the vision that patients want to see. We always think about what's the cure, but we still have, you know, over a million people in this country have the disease. We need to give them access to appropriate care. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's um, in 2015. I kind of had a sense that maybe I had Parkinson's. Uh, oh no. And it, frankly, I thought there was hell on earth. I came home and told my husband and decided, okay, it's time to go attack it now. Dr. Factor made me have some hope. If I have hope, then I can keep fighting this disease. We develop close relationships with patients. It's not like you see them, you treat them for something that goes away, and then you don't see them again. Here at Emory, we have a very collegial environment. And you can't do things alone. What that means is to collaborate. That spirit of collaboration has really continued to be prime reason for many of us to even stay here. So it's a, it's a really good thing to have. When people come as faculty or fellows, they stay. The diverse ideas and notions and backgrounds really helps to properly diagnose people. I think it's great when doctors collaborate and you're getting a broad spectrum of help. It gives me confidence. So I think where we're going now is early detection and then the study of some of these surgical approaches. I think we're starting down this road by finding when the process of the disease actually starts will give us the clues as to how we can stop the process. Even if we found a cure today, it means we have still have millions of people to care for and finding effective treatments for their symptoms is just as important as finding the absolute cure for everybody. Both of those things need to come from basic science. I literally don't know of any other place in the U.S. where this could be done or anywhere else in the world for that matter. Parkinson's is a strange, complicated disease. One thing that I've really enjoyed is coming to the Brain Health Center. As far as they've come with research and medications and other helpful things, I feel like I'm living in a better time. I don't know how long it'll be before they have a cure, but they already have so many things that help us. It's, it's really good.